Hello world. Welcome back to Subway 23's Mixed Reality. This is Jason. Uh, this will be the first in a series of tutorials for the HoloLens and Unity development. The This tutorial will cover getting started in Unity. Uh, I assume that you have Unity HoloLens Edition installed. I will also assume that you have at least Visual Studio Community 2015 with Update 2 installed. Uh, I'll put links in the doobly-doo. I will first do uh, the basics to get a hologram into Unity, and then I will run through uh, my preferred method. All right, to get started, we need to, once we've loaded up Unity, we need to click on New, and we need to name our project, Tutorial 1, Getting Started. Then we will make sure to, 3D is selected. That you could go either way. And then create. Once it's done its thing, this is, well, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look similar to this. But uh, I do have a... a a non-default layout just because it's more comfortable for me um, in your hierarchy this is where all your objects will will be in game objects uh, you should have a main camera and a directional light main camera make sure you can see it in your inspector right here you want to set it to position zero 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 Make sure your rotations are all zero as well. Scale one one one. Uh, once you have that, make sure you look down here under camera to clear flags. Click skybox and change that to solid color. Now in background, we need to actually change it to a color, and we're going to change it to black. Make sure the alpha is turned all the way down. Um, the reason for this is the Hololens uses the color black as its uh, source of alpha so without and what that means is uh, see-through uh, opacity basically um, under clip plane we want to put 0.85 we don't want to be getting too close to the the holograms all right so that's all we need to do with the camera directional light we don't really have to touch that at all right now. Uh, now we want to create an object. And we're going to create a capsule. I haven't tried that. And under capsule, we need to go over here to our transform and look at position. Zero, zero. And we're going to change that to four. It puts the capsule out in front of the camera. Um, if I remember correctly, the numbers here do tend to work in meters. They scale to what's comparable to that that you know four meters away um, from the camera viewpoint now we need to get ready to uh, export it out first we're going to save our scene we're going to save it to a folder called scenes and then we will name it main scene now we need to go into our edit, project settings, quality. Under our quality settings, we need to look under the Windows Store icon here. Go down to the default, click on that down arrow, and hit fastest. Then we need to go to build settings. Click on the add open scenes button. You'll see our main scene. Index 0 opens up. Now we want to click on Windows Store. And the SDK. We're going to select Universal 10. Under UWP Build Type, we want to select uh, Direct3D or D3D. And then under Unity C Sharp Projects, we want to click that. Um, at this point, we're going to hit Player Settings. Go down to here to Publish Settings. And, and here's, I, you know, I don't know what all these have to be done, but these are the ones I tend to do. 
spatial perception, Bluetooth, microphone, and I think that's it. But now we need to go up into other settings. And this one's really important. Uh, it won't work without this. So virtual reality supported. Click there. And if you're running the holographic edition like you should be, uh, this will automatically pop up as Windows Holographic. At this point, we can build the project. So we're going to hit build. I'm going to create a folder real quick called app. And this is going to be where our build goes. Select folder and build. This will take a moment. All right, so the build's done. Um, a Windows Explorer window will pop up, and then you click on app, and then you click on the SLN file. In this particular case, it was tutorial one getting started dot SLN. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, my display capture does not work correctly, and so I can't seem to capture uh, Windows Explorer windows. But that being said, I'm kind of glad this worked because this doesn't happen all the time, but it does sometimes. And this set of 135 errors uh, can kind of freak somebody out. I've seen a few few people in the forums uh, not quite understanding. But um, generally all you have to do here, if I remember correctly, is just hit clean solution. One step I did forget. Debug. Now you have the option to select debug, master, or release. Debug's a much faster build. Um, you want to use the x86 setup and then you want to hit remote machine HoloLens is showing up there at, at, at its um, for some reason it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't let me put that out there I, I had the hardest time getting it to work and then suddenly it started and I, there's no real rhyme or reason as to why um, but now we have HoloLens ready to go and so now it's going to deploy the debug version and this should take just a moment all right our build is done build three succeeded deploy one succeeded and at that point let's see how it looks on the HoloLens I got a lot of stuff installed on here. Tutorial one, getting started. And that's not quite four meters, I don't believe. I guess it could be because it's in the walls. Um, there we go. No functionality yet, just a capsule floating in the air, but we're there. All right, everybody. Here we go with my preferred method. Um, Microsoft has been really nice and, and made this wonderful thing called the Hollow Toolkit Unity. Now, uh, there's two toolkits. One, the, one is for non-Unity. Um, there's lots of really cool things in it. Um, oh, I am. There we go. Um, and then once you get a little bit deeper into it, well, I know I'll end up going over some of this stuff. But I find some of the stuff that I just don't use a whole lot, uh, cross-platform and sharing. And so I have this build of it that I keep uh, around. That's just the stuff that I, I think I'm going to use. Uh, I left cross-platform in this one. So what I tend to do is start my fresh build. And I'm going to copy that into my assets folder. and then go back into Unity. It will recognize all those things.
And the reason I, I prefer it this way is because there's a lot of stuff in here that's really, really useful. Uh, and they really does simplify the process of getting started with these projects, um, especially with the spatial mapping and a few other things. And like I said, we will go over this later. And almost there. Fake spatial map mesh. Yes. You can use that as well. All right, and it's loaded. So, the first thing I tend to do once I start a new project this way is I go into. Uh, where are you? Prefabs, utilities, prefabs. Um, go in, delete your main camera under utilities prefabs, take main camera, pop it into place, drag, drag and drop it. Now it's there. Something else I like to do is take this FPS display, drag and drop it there. And now we will do what we did before. We'll do a different object type. Uh, let's do a cylinder. We're going to move it f four meters. And then everything else is the same as we previously did. And I won't bore you by doing that again. All right, everybody. We are successful in our deployment again. And... tutorial again there you are the debug version of unity tends to run a good bit slower and there is our cylinder fairly embedded into our wall maybe even to the wall across the hall but uh that should get anyone started with this. Uh, I'm not sure where we'll go with next. This is my first tutorial ever, so uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. Um, and my name is Jason, and thanks for watching.